I thought I'd give an update on the boards here. Um, I do have all of the parts now. Um, and so this one's loaded up. Um, I was having troubles with it. It seems to be running, at least the lines are toggling. You, you never know whether it's running correctly or just in a weird loop or something. Even if all the pins are floating, it sometimes runs in a loop. Um, so, uh, for whatever reason, I'm not getting any serial data out of the board, and I don't know why it's driving me nuts. I thought maybe my old prom was giving me trouble, so um, the other board that I'm working on in parallel is this uh, Z80 board. It's all together too, and guess what? <laughs> Same problem. Seems to be working except for no serial data, so uh, just a bad week altogether. Um, this one uses an a, um, uh, electrically erasable PROM, an 82C256. This is an 80, I mean, a, this is a 28C256. This is a 27C256. This one has the UV erasable. Somebody pointed out that, yeah, you should be careful about the tape not uh, going over the pins. The tape does have conductive um, glue, which I hadn't remembered, but but they're correct. Um, I remember when I put it on, I was a little bit nervous, but it uh, definitely doesn't reach down to the pins. Um, so I think that's okay. Um, but uh, since I had to buy 82C 256s for this board, I bought two of them. They're really cheap, like a buck and a half. Um, and so uh, I programmed uh, uh, this uh, card and changed the jumpers here to run an 82, 80, sorry, a 28C256. You can strap it different ways on the back. You can use a 27C128, a 27C256, a 28C256, or a 29C256. I don't know what a 29 is. Anyway, um, didn't help at all. Both of these boards seem to sort of do something, but they don't talk. Um, so uh, that's been driving me nuts. Um, my, uh, my ham radio has been driving me nuts, too. Um, I decided to do a full alignment of the board um, because uh, my single sideband was distorted. It's always been distorted since I bought it. And um, I figure it was a mixer problem and stuff like that. Uh, I traced it. All the way through, I did a two-tone test. You can go onto YouTube and look up two-tone test. But I sent uh, two tones through this thing. Um, I was getting a good signal on the drive to the final amplifier, and then the final amplifier was distorted. So I figured, ah, final amplifier must be dead. So I did a bunch of troubleshooting on there, and I found a solder bridge that I had put in when I replaced the 116 uh, capacitors. Uh, my fault. So got rid of that bridge, figure, okay, maybe the finals will work now. And guess what? Now the rest of the radio doesn't work. So I don't know if I didn't connect something. I'm going to tear it all apart again. Anyway, so this has just been a very bad week all in general. Um, but I wish I had a better update on these. I really want to get them going. Um, but for whatever reason, they do not work. Um, and like I said, they're driving me nuts. Um, anyway, that's the update.